Now, see, last year I did some traveling. Of course, I went to Japan a couple of years ago. The players, we all went and, and I had a great, a great time doing that. Found that I had a lot of fans there that I didn't realize, you know. And, and in Europe, uh, I went there to Europe last year and did a tour. And I had a record that I had done myself. On, it was called Smoking Section, where it was more of a swing thing. My brother Randy and I did it, and it was a very upright bass and stuff. But the previous record I had before that was done in 19, uh, in the late in 97 or something like that. It was called Hotwire. That was on a major label. And uh, that uh, still is a popular record with people who go, oh, I want to buy it. And it's out of print. So, you know, it's like I'm trying to get that back and maybe re release that Hotwired. But, but I got plans now on making a new one. And the reason I've kind of halted it just for a minute, I'm still writing stuff because I might sign a record deal. It looks pretty good and I can't divulge that information right now, but it'll be a more of a bigger uh, distribution kind of deal. So, but I mean, just base, even, you know, it's great to have a record when you go out and perform because you can promote the record and sell the records. Even though I can go out now and I mean, I've got still got a great big fan uh, base just, just from all my years of, you know, work and, and that and those two records and, and playing on other people's records like Brooks and Dunn and Alan Jackson, a lot of country records, you know, uh, Shania Twain and all, you know, just bunches of those. I guess people keep kind of read the credits of the back of CDs and albums and stuff and they, they become fans. But, uh, I, you know, I'm planning on doing more touring like next year, you know, and, and booking some things. And uh, I think Michael, you know, Michael Rhodes plays in in our band, he went to Japan just with Larry Carlton. So, so I'd love to come back there. It's a great. I mean, it's, uh, just some great musicians there, and and they love music there. You know, it seems like they're fans of mu new musicians there. So I really would like to come back there. And went to Ireland, and then went to uh, Italy and uh, Germany, and we'll do some shows. But that'll that'll be based on this. Rec I mean, I'll have a record out, probably. It looks good. And maybe the next time we talk, I can tell you more about what, or what it is, just in case it falls through. <laughs> but no, it looks good. So yeah, there'll be a record regardless. So, um, and, more, and more touring and less. I became, you know, it's, I'm very studio hibernated kind of guy. I'm, you know, it's, it's easy to get stuck in a studio playing on people's records. You know, it's very good. It's, very lucrative, very good money. It is kind of like an office job. You go in and play, and you sign a card, and you go home, and you get back up the next day and play on somebody else's record. And I think a lot of people do it because it's a great family life. You know, you don't. You know, a lot of times when you go on tour, you don't see your families for for a good while. You know, if you if you're traveling 200 dates a year, you don't see much of your family, your kids, and you know. And I got some kids, and I've always had a, a great family life like that because I know I could come home and you know and, and still create and play music but then you know at a certain point you want to be able to play your own music and uh, sometimes it's you, you you can interject your own creativity and style but it is somebody else's music and product you know what I mean so it's different than doing your own thing so at, at some point you got to do that so that's what I'm doing now and uh, you know, now that my kids don't, they're, they're so old, they don't even want me hanging around anymore. They're all, near, you know, 18 and <laughs> back when they were like nine and 10 years old, you know, you can hold their hands and walk around and they want you to, you know, when they get older, they go, dad, don't hang with me. Okay. You make me look bad. Yeah. So now, now I can kind of like branch out. So, but it is a good studio is a good, you kind of get the best of both worlds there, the family life. And then, and then you, all the studios, obviously are in Nashville, there's hundreds of studios. They're not that far, they're no more than like an hour away or, or 30 minutes or... And then once in a while we'll go to, go to New York or LA and do, you know, recording and then come back. That's a nice little excursion, but then you're back into your, you know, it's just a little jump. But I, I think at least once a year I'm gonna do a little tour, you know, and love to come back to Japan and then Europe and do some things, Ireland.